So, who are you playing? I'm playing Jafar. It's just announced, huh? Recently. Just seconds ago. Seconds no. ago. White hot. So, uh, can I ask the uh, obvious question that you probably <laughs> What was it that drew you to this role, um, you know, coming off of Lost and not doing one in, or not really doing TV after that for a while? What brought you back? Well, um, I, I just did this film in, in England with Naomi Watts about Princess Diana. And. Um, Having the opportunity to do a movie like that, which will be released here, it's released in Europe in um, September, I think the premiere is, and then it'll come out here maybe a couple of months after, after that. To be able to get to do something like that meant I could do something completely different like this. I mean, if you, with this, you have, I think, tremendous freedom because you're not um, bound by ordinary conventions, let's like say if it was police drama or doctors, you know, you're not wearing a, a uniform, you know, you're colour or no, nobody's telling you what or who to be in that sense. So there's tremendous freedom in that, you know, as an actor and also the piece itself because it's a synthesis of um, the ancient and the modern, you know, you're, it's storytelling in an ancient sense but you're using elements of a well-known classic folk tales, fairy tales, and uh, giving it a contemporary edge. So if you, be, if you can do that with, a, with the piece, surely you can do that with the character, and that's what I think, hopefully, we intend to do with Jafar. We want to confound people's expectations of what an iconic villain should be, you know? Make him human. <laughs> I was saying, is your character really a villain? Do you see Well, this is the thing. Who, who's to say? All the same family, all right, so you <laughs> kill lots of babies? Is that, is that, that's a measure, right? <laughs> well, you know, that remains to be seen. Point is that every, every, everybody's born with with a, um, a kind of genetic blueprint, aren't they? In the sense that you know we're all affected by the childhood that we've had, you know, for better or for worse, you know, and that and that childhood is an, is an important period that almost kind of confirms the choices that you're going to make later on, good or bad, you know, and that goes for everybody. You did Sinbad, uh, the TV series, before, mm. so you're kind of familiar with the magical... Well, just the, 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 the sense <laughs> of world. fun, yeah. you know, and the outrageousness of it. You know, again, what, what, what interests me is that you can literally do what you want. <laughs> yeah, I mean, but, but uh, why, why do you think people are so fascinated by those magical fairy tales? And is it is their place on TV, or they should be put in books? Well, absolutely. But I mean, I I personally believe that you know fairy tales or mythology is like a blueprint for our lives in, in some way. Without wanting to sound too pretentious, but I have a seven-year-old. And, you know, I've, I've, I've read in Greek mythology, I've, the most recent book we read together was um, Watership Down, uh, which Alice is... Alice in Wonderland as well? Sorry? Alice in Wonderland? He's just started that, but I'm not reading that with him. I think he's reading that with, 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 with someone else. But me, me and him connected over um, Watership Down because it's a book that I read when I was eight or nine. And that uh, novel is based in itself on the Aeneid, um, the Odyssey in that it's, it's a journey that involves great tribulation, death, you know, great hardship, and there's redemption at the end. Um, and they form us in some strange sort of way. I mean, we still need them. You know, we needed them thousands of years ago, and we need them now. So we, we may not be sort of um, in the same way sort of sitting around a campfire or a fire with a menace of darkness outside the, you know, the circle of firelight, but we have TV. Yeah, computers. With computers. So many new series premiering this fall. What is it about Wonderland that you think will make viewers want to to tune in? Great acting. <laughs> you know, great performances. Hopefully, you know, because that because in the end, that it's it's about writing and acting. It doesn't matter about you know. You could, yes, visually, the premise of the show is extremely important. Of course, it's probably about 40% of the show. But if, it, if the writing isn't there and the acting isn't there, who wants to watch it? So do you think that uh, I, there are so many different versions of Alice? Of course, there's Through the Looking Glass, mm. Lewis Carroll, which is classic. And then there's Disney, Alice in Wonderland, which is nowhere is dark. Where is the show? Is that in that spectrum? Okay. You know, it brings me back to Lost because 
what I realised with Lost over six seasons was that it's a it's an extraordinary medium in the sense that you can do stuff on TV that you cannot do on film. You just can't do it because it. You go into a movie theatre, you an hour and forty five minutes, two hours. Maybe the occasional film is three to four hours, but not so much anymore. But TV, there's an element of ritual to it. People tune in, they watch it, you're it literally in people's homes. I remember like talking to Barbara, Barbara Hershey, about when Kung Fu came out. And you know, like David at that time was like one of at that kind of um, that kind of intimacy with an audience was happening for the first time in the early 70s and I think you know it's, that's kind of extraordinary in itself you're literally in people's homes you know do you think uh, your character has you know a very moral sense that you'll be able to um, like do you think you'll be able to bring kind of a very moral sense to your character though I would hope so I mean everyone's human. Do you know anything? About Even the worst of us. Do you know anything about the arc of your character we'll have over the series? I can say that he does have a rather dark and twisted agenda that will affect every character on the show. I just love those